Message. And also, no, no, no. A little Destiny's Child reference for you. It's no, no, no for Jake Arrieta. Losing his no-hitter in the eighth inning, finishing with a one-hit shutout. Baseball tonight. Let's roll. Freddie Freeman goes down swinging. Bottom two. Justin Upton looking. Christian Betancourt. Bottom well, four. Beaten. Justin Upton. Striking out like a dude in the science club. Seven innings, four strikeouts, no earned runs for Rory. And be able to come in here and clinch is, uh, you know, something we've been wanting to do. So, uh, you know, all year long we've been fighting, we've been clawing. You know, we've come through injuries, and, uh, you know, we've done what we need to do to get to this point. A lot of people count this out. A lot of people picked the Braves this year. But we just kept fighting. We kept fighting all year long. A lot of come from behind wins. A lot of resilient wins. I love this. I love this ball club, man. All these guys, man. We put forth the hard work, and this is a good feeling when you put forth the hard work and you get a chance to celebrate, celebrate like this. No greater feeling. You know, all in all, this is why we're celebrating because we've done something right. And Matt Williams knows that he's taking this team. He's putting us in the right spot. You know, it's just the first step. We got a long way to go. Uh, we still got a lot to play for in the regular season here, and um, you know, home field for, uh, advantage throughout is important. So. Uh, we'll take a day off. We can set up our pitching. We can uh, we'll give, give some guys some rest, but we still got uh, we still got games to play and meaningful games at that. And then uh, you know, then once postseason gets here, all bets are off. You know, it's, that's when it's fun. That's when it's easy. And and uh, you know, it's just it's a, it's a good time. I'm happy. Good Lord, turn that music off. Although Miller Lite cans, nicely done. Nationals won the division going away despite Bryce Harper missing May and June with a thumb injury. He's come on of late though, hitting over 300 since August 12th. Can't talk Nats without... Oh, this is an interesting game, what happened here. Of course, Derek Jeter honored. Why not? Give him a kayak. I'm sure he'll be tooling around Tampa Bay and that thing. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that big trip down there. Great moment there. Don Zimmer's widow. Suit on hand. Jose Milena. Or Zimmer and Jeter very close. So the night starts off very warmly in St. Petersburg. And Jeter spends much time, in, a lot of time in Florida. And here he is, and he gets hit up and in with his team down 6-1 to one in an 0-2 pitch. Steve Jeltz is the pitcher, and Joe Girardi has seen enough. Again, it's 6-1, to one, but he's going to support Jeter, and he's going to make a fuss before being ejected. We'll hear from him in a minute. As you can see here, Girardi yelling, and eventually yelling at the pitcher, pointing. Ultimately, he gets the eggs. Okay, bottom of the inning. We know what's going to happen next, right? Look out. David Phelps gets tossed. Doesn't hit Kevin Kiermaier, but he is ejected. Both benches slowly clear. Bullpens and Sean Rodriguez. He usually gets pretty fired up in these situations. Calling people out there. Yep. Yeah. All right, well, the Rays go on to win 6-1. to one. Jeter, by the way, he's now hitless in 26 straight at-bats. Uh, he goes 0-2. Joe Girardi, what's the fuss? Five times in four games we've been hit. Twice in the elbow, once in the leg, once in the chin. Um, ball at Gardy's head the last night. Another ball at Chase's ribs last night. I'm all for pitching inside, but you got to know how to pitch inside because it's extremely dangerous. Chase Headley's lucky. He's lucky. He's okay, and I don't, you know, I don't know what they expect. You hit five of our guys in four games. You don't think we'll be pissed? I really don't blame the Yankees for being upset right there. We've hit a couple of their guys. Obviously, none of it intentional. It's it's called baseball. It happens once in a while, and uh, it's nothing that we want to do. It's nothing you apologize for. It's just part of the game. So I, I do understand uh, their frustration with it and why they were upset. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of my guys getting hit and where they're getting hit. I'm tired of it. You're gonna pitch inside. Learn how to pitch inside. You pitch down in the zone. You don't pitch up. Again, Jeter, uh, tough going right now. 0 for 2. He's 0 for his last 26. 0 for the last 40 years. Only four players who are currently enshrined in the Hall of Fame, and Jeter will be there, endured an 0 for 25 slump during their final Major League seasons. Cal Ripken Jr., Johnny Bench, Al Kaline, Bill Mazeroski uh, also endured similar slumps that Jeter's going through right now. Tonight, the decision on whether to charge Tony. <laughs> GoPro on Nelly's hat. Unbelievable. Um, I mean, it's, it's uh, indescribable. I don't know words, you know. Um, a lot of injuries, you know, up and downs. But um, 
at the end we stay together, we stay, we stay all together as a family, and uh, we came and, and do what, the first goal. You know, first goal is clinch, and now we have a we have a different goal. You know, go to the World Series and, and win it. That's that's the main goal. I don't know how many people have been here since 1969, but uh, they haven't celebrated at home since 1969. It's been it's been uh, you know, like I said, it's been a long run. As uh, it's been, it's been, uh, you know, like I said, it's been a long run as, uh, you know, here as an Oriole. You know, <laughs> <sighs> 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 yeah. It's been 16 seasons. Wins. He, he was outdone by a pair of people on the mound oh. in this one. First, Charles Barkley. Although, Bucci, it is better than his golf swing. Yeah, right? it's not, not terrible. Yeah. Here is America's star. His name is Jake Arrieta. He's having a really good season for the Cubs. June 24th of this year, no hit the Reds through six innings before slotting Billy Hamilton breaks it up with a single in the seventh inning. So let's bring it back to this one tonight. Top seven, Arietta. Same no, team. Same team, exactly. No hitting the Reds. Hamilton, chance to break it up, but he lines out to left. First out of the inning, two batters later, Todd Frazier. And down goes Frazier. No hitter alive through seven. We go to the eighth inning. Jay Bruce in what's been, for the most part, another lost season, at least in the standings. They have gotten young guys up to the majors and done well. But in what's been a lost season, Cubs maybe something to cheer about late. Uh, but the next batter in the eighth inning is Brandon Phillips. Oh. You know, Matt Caesar, given, given credit, he laid out. Great try. Did not get it. The no-hit bid done after seven and a third. He gave it everything he had in center. It does not happen. Cubs win it 7 0. He does get the shutout win. Jake Arietta, America's Star of the Night. All right. That is all the time we have for here. Let's go to Los Angeles, right? Where they're going to talk about the Beltway all night long. Their divisions. Arietta started for the Cubs Tuesday against Johnny Cueto and the Reds at Wrigley Field. Charles Barkley throwing out the first pitch. Ernie. Ernie, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible, Ernie. Uh, here's Arietta. Last no hitter at Wrigley Field, Milt Pappas in 1972. Top of the seventh, Arietta with a no hitter to this point. Cubs leading 6 0. Actually, this is a flashback to June 24th of this year. Arietta with uh, a no hit bid against the Reds through six innings before Billy Hamilton broke it up. Now, here's the seventh inning. Arietta, no hitter to this point. Cubs up 6 0. Hamilton at the plate with another chance to break it up, and he's going to line out. So there's one away. Two batters later, Todd Frazier. That'll end the inning. No hitter alive through seven innings, but no big deal. He, he's been there before. Uh, more on that coming up. Top of the eighth, Jay Bruce. May I help you? No thanks, I'm just looking. One away. He struck out 13, walked just one. Next batter is Brandon Phillips. Oh, boy. Well hit. Matt Caesar's going to do all he can, but it's going to drop. Arietta's no hit bid done after seven and a third, but they love him at Wrigley. We take another look at it. You know, you need that spectacular defensive play sometimes, but one hit shutout for Arietta. First career shutout, first complete, first career complete game. Second time this season that he's had a no hit bid of at least seven innings. He's the only pitcher to do it more than once. Only three other pitchers over the last five seasons had multiple no hit bids or, or seven or more innings in a single season. Arietta and you, Darvish, are the only ones who came up short of a no-hitter. Kevin Ward Jr. got out of his wreck. Verk and Braden, almost time to finish up shop. Reds and Cubs, Jake Arrieta was on the hill for the Cubs. A man looked good. Oh, he was cruising, he was cruising early, and he was cruising often. As you see here, able to blow fastballs by guys, getting the call there, a good pitcher's pitch on the inside part of the plate. And that's what you're gonna need is a lot of luck here, even there. You know what, he was tough to pick up tonight. It doesn't matter if you're throwing 46 footers, we will take it. Johnny Cueto struggled with his command. Reds down one nothing. Bottom of six bases loaded. Chris Valleca will take the walk as Luis Valbuena scores. And two batters later, bases still loaded. One out for Matt Caesar. Cueto missing high walks in another run. At five walks in five and two thirds. Yeah, kind of uncharacteristic out of Cueto, a guy who attacks the zone early and often. Give up six runs overall. Top of seven. Arietta's got a no hitter. Hamilton at the plate. Lines out to left. Two batters later. Down goes Frazier. The no hitter is alive through seven innings. Area did a good job tonight of taking what was being given to him by the home plate umpire. Bottom of seven, Jorge Soler, fifth home run of the year. He does not get cheated at the plate, I'll tell you that. That's a man who swings with bad intentions.
Future's looking bright for the Cubs. Top of eight, Jay Bruce is leading off. Arietta gets some look at 10 strikeouts. But alas, it's Brandon Phillips lying deep left center. He thinks it's gone. The way he threw that bat down, Caesar dives, cannot make the catch. No hit bit is done after seven and a third. Yeah, it's no mystery to anybody in the MLB that uh, Dat Dude is definitely Dat Dude's favorite flavor. A little bit of <laughs> tasting himself there. Late. <laughs> Look at Phil. Yeah, that's gone. Actually, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, third instance this season of Arietta taking a no hitter into the seventh. Alas, it is not to be. Top of the ninth, though, he's still in the game. Mason Tucker, Barnhart, one hit shutout. And you first love to, career shutout, first career complete game. You love to see him finish it off because so many times do you see a guy go up there and give up that hit and then things start to unravel. Good job of keeping everything under control and getting that W and finishing it off. Cubs win at 7-0, 13 strikeouts for him. Web Gems is brought to you by Viagra. I want to see your club benefit from is the defensive prowess up the middle. You were high on this D. Gordon play. This should be number one. It's unbelievable savvy by D. Gordon to understand. I don't even have time to glove this ball. I'm going to get a glove on it, but I need to shuttle it over to second base and see if we can get two. And JT on the turnaround flip, great job on the pickup, delivering a strike for the double play. I don't care what your opinion is, just as long as you have one. Number three is Evan Longoria. Back to the infield to get Jacoby Ellsbury. Yeah. I mean, it's a good play. We've seen him make those plays. We've seen him make better. Back win followed by Buffalo, then the Ravens, the Texans, and the Colts. Indeed. That ball's crushed. And it is going to get down. Great effort by Matt Caesar, but Brandon Phillips breaks up the no no with one out here in the eighth. Yeah, close, but no cigar for Jake Arrieta. That was the only blemish on an otherwise brilliant night. He settles for the one-hit shutout, but boy, you can't deny the effort by Caesar on that double. Ooh, he closed the gap on that ball pretty well. You know, I think off the bat, I don't think anybody thought he even had a chance. And he must have come within a foot of that, of that ball, maybe less. It was a great effort. He's got a ton of speed. Um, you know, and I saw, you know, I was kind of picking a spot and watching the ball and watching him uh, you know start to track it and I knew it was going to be close um, but you know it's 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 one of those things where he hit, hit a ball well enough in the gap that just split our defense and uh, there's really nothing you can do there other than make a little bit better pitch but um, you know that's that's the way it goes but uh, you know uh, I'm just it, it's an exciting night um, it was a lot of fun um, it'll be one I, I remember for a long time well, in our Comcast Business Edge, it's no secret, Jake Arrieta had the edge over the Reds. Third time this season, he's taken a no-hitter into the seventh, and the second time now, he's done it against the Reds. Arrieta gave up just that one hit. He struck out a career-high 13. Comcast Business Edge sports at the speed of business. Tonight, make sure you tune in to Comcast Sportsnet at 7 as the Cubs go for the sweep. Kyle Hendricks takes the hill, looking for his seventh win. And then stick around after the game. Join David Kaplan and Todd Hollinsworth for Cubs Post Game Live. Brandon Sods. We start on the north side. Jake Arrieta has taken a no-hitter into the seventh inning twice this season. Had a chance to do it again on Tuesday night against the Reds. Pick this one up in the fourth. Cubs are ready up 1-0. Arietta against Todd Frazier, and he strikes him out to end the inning. Arietta had five strikeouts through four. To the sixth inning we go. 3-0 Cubs. Bases loaded. Chris Coughlin unloads the bases. Goes all the way to the gap in left center. Plenty of run support for Arietta. 6-0. Then in the seventh, the Cubbies increase their lead. Jorge Soler. Crunch. That's his first career home run at Wrigley. Solaire's hit safely now in 13 of his 14 Major League games. Fan excited that he caught the home run ball, but uh-oh. Watch this. Oh, yeah, I'm good. What? I dropped my wedding ring? What? Yeah, it ended up on the warning track. Don't worry, he eventually got it back. Arietta was dominant in this one. He hadn't given up a hit through seven innings. Third time this season he's taken that no-hitter into the seventh. Last one being Boston back in June. He had a career-high 13 strikeouts. Now to the eighth. No hitter, still intact. And facing Brandon Phillips, an 0-2 pitch. And he hits one to left center. Matt Caesar has a beat on this. 
lays out and just comes up short. Have another look at this. Caesars gloves. Real.